Alrighty guys, so I just got to Brendan's. I'm just waiting for him to come down. He's taking a sweet ass time. But yeah, we're gonna be actually revisiting a location tonight. We'll get all into that in a second, but what the hell is he wearing? Wait, what the f are you wearing? What are you doing? <laughs> what do you mean? What am I wearing? We're on the beach. You said we're going to the beach? Yeah, to a f haunted beach. We're not going swimming. Man, what you, what you got there? What is it? Smudging stick. Oh, Looks Jimmy. like. Uh, come here now. Come here. And. Go change your shit, man. You're saying ETFW go on vacation. You out. <laughs> walk of <f> shame. <laughs> walk of walk of shame. Yeah, that's right. Everybody watching. Everybody watching you right now. Walk of shame. Close the door. Close the door. You throw my head. Off. Walk of shame, man. Go on, get changed. Show the people. <laughs> oh sh. As you guys hear, we are going to a haunted beach tonight. We're actually revisiting a location. Brennan's gonna go off and get rechanged now because I don't know. He thought we'll go to the beach, but yeah, definitely not the beach he thought we'll go to. I'm, he's locked out. <laughs> he's, you sleeping on a couch tonight, you. F <laughs> but yeah, anyways, guys, I'll pick it back up in a little bit once we get to said location. We'll give you guys the history, kind of give you the whole gist of what we're doing there tonight, and um, we'll get into it. Alrighty, I'll see you in a minute. Later that same evening. Welcome back, everybody. My name's Brendan. This is Ricky. Together with ETFW. Now, we know that you guys are really keen for part two of St. John's Orphanage. Unfortunately, that's not it tonight. <laughs> As you can tell, we're not at St. John's Orphanage right now. Ricky, will explain to you why. That's right, guys. We've seen a lot of you in the comments who were super keen, super eager for us to jump into part two of St. John's Orphanage. Now, I received an overwhelming response from Facebook when I posted the episode to a bunch of groups. So many of you reached out via DMs, commenting on the post, telling us your stories or things that have happened to you guys when you've been there yourselves years ago or recently. And there was one in particular that stood out. Now, we're not going to jump into all the details now, but a lot of what this one person told us about their experience and about what actually happened in the room where part one finished off with all the footsteps above us there was actually something pretty creepy and pretty eerie that went on in there now after we read this long message and kind of read the details upon what happened we realized that we definitely missed something yeah now we don't want to give you guys a half-assed episode so we've decided we're going to wait and we're going to return to st john's we're not sure when yet so we are going to keep you guys posted on when that episode is going to come out but we definitely have unfinished business there there's definitely something that we overlooked and we definitely didn't capture everything that we wanted to now we also want to give a massive thank you a massive shout out to twin paranormal over in the united states our brothers in arms over in america that's right We've seen a lot of new faces coming along, commenting and subscribing, and we really appreciate you guys shouting us out, as well as the new faces who have come and hopefully stayed. That's it. So welcome everybody from Twin Paranormal. We're glad you found our way over to our channel, and we hope we can entertain you guys with our videos, and hope you guys will you know, stick around and join us for our adventures. That's right. I mean, there's just one thing that's been bugging me though. Bernadette. Oh, Bernadette. Bernadette. Why haven't you subbed yet? I, 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 you know what? And Bernadette watches the videos every week. We can see that you watch them. We she watches know them you watch week. them. Well, she doesn't sub. Why? So, Bernadette, do us a favor. We're going to give you five seconds. Bernadette, we want you to go down just somewhere around somewhere around here. We want you to hit the little subscribe button. Bernadette, do us the favor. You, you're tripping. You're playing. You're, every single week, you're, watching, you're coming back. Look, this is going to help you out. Go on, go ahead. Hit the sub button. Bernadette, join the family. So many people already have. That's right. Join the ETFW family. We're here for you. You're here for us. With that said, guys, we're going to stop blabbering on. We're going to jump into the episode. Of course, we're going to jump into the history, jump into the night. Let's see. Pucky's Reserve really is truly haunted. Let's do it. Alrighty, guys. We'll see you soon. Pucky's Estate Reserve is a coastal nature reserve located in the north of Wollongong, New South Wales, Australia. The area was once home to the Aboriginal Wadi Wadi people and also home and owned through the early 1900s by a gentleman named Courtney Pucky. The land today mainly serves as a recreation area with its beach, walking tracks, scenic views and large park. It is quite a popular spot during the Australian summers. However, as beautiful as it may look, Pucky's Reserve carries with it a grim and unpleasant past. Mr. Courtney Pucky, what was known of him, was that he was a very strange and mysterious man. And, over the decades, Pucky's Reserve has been the site of countless suspicious deaths, rapes, 
murders and strange disappearances. Locals whispered and fingers began to point at Mr. Courtney Pucky himself. Locals believe that the land is haunted by the victims of these crimes, particularly the spirit of a young girl of about 15 years old who was allegedly raped and stabbed to death by two men on a small island lookout. After the men had their way and murdered the poor young girl, it was said that they tossed her body into the ocean, never to be seen again. There are many reports from locals having stated seeing a spirit of a young girl at dusk and sunset, some even claiming to hear the screams and cries coming from the island she was allegedly raped and murdered on. Other rumours have circulated that if you happen to visit Bucky's at night, the cries and voices of lost and murdered children will call out. This rumour stems from the extensive number of drownings, including children at Fairy Creek, which borders the estate. Pucky's was not once upon a time a mysterious place, but still is, with unexplained deaths, rapes and disappearances all the way up to March this year in 2020. Has Pucky's Reserve just unluckily played the host to these mysterious deaths, murders and strange disappearances, or is something more sinister abroad? There was only one way to find out. Follow us as we explore Pucky's Reserve. Alrighty guys, so we're just on our way down to location one. Now, as you guys saw in the intro, there are a couple of spots around here that are believed to be kind of haunted, I guess you'd say. Yeah. Or believed to have a lot of paranormal activity, uh, I guess, sighted around here. Reported at the very least. Reported, yep. The first spot we're going to, there was a story of a young girl who was kidnapped, raped and murdered around here. Her body was then disposed of in the ocean, which is just over to our right hand side over this way. It's not too far away. But the area where we're going to now is where we believe it happened. There have been a lot of reports in this area of people hearing a young girl kind of crying or screaming. Yeah, and then on top of that, seeing the young girl exactly. as well sometimes walk through these tracks, which yeah. is apparently what she was doing. There has been a lot of other disappearances around in this area as well. Yeah, there's been a lot of like kids and stuff like that. And, and stuff. Yeah, like there's, it's a... There's some really hardcore stuff that's happened here. Weird place in general, but we're gonna to go to first location now. We're gonna jump into an investigation and yeah, we'll see if we capture anything. Alrighty guys, we'll bring you along. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is like, I know it's nice through the day here. Scary at yeah. night, man. It just feels like a it just feels like a spot where you'd be, I don't know. I don't know, I don't even want to think about it, it's weird, but yeah, it's this it's freaking creepy, man. Alright, let's go in. Obviously, as you guys saw in the history and what we spoke on a little bit earlier, we believe this area around here is where the young 15-year-old girl was kidnapped, murdered, and raped. There are believed to be, as we mentioned, a lot of other spirits who seem to be kind of roaming around here and seem to be in this area. There's been a lot of weird disappearances, weird things that have happened. And right around this time, sort of dusk, dawn, is when people have believed to have heard screams, cries, things like that from a young girl. Now, we're gonna jump into an investigation here. We did ask you guys in a post only a couple of days ago what you guys preferred seeing us use for investigations. And there was an overwhelming support for Dowsing Rod's Pendulum. So we're gonna keep the video pretty true to that. And we're gonna jump into a Dowsing Rod session here. Let's see if we can contact this girl. Let's see why her spirit still lingers here. And I don't know, maybe maybe there's other spirits here too. But that's it, guys. Let's jump into a Dowsing Rod session. Alrighty, guys. So we've got the trusty Dowsing Rods out now. Going to jump into a simple investigation. See if we can contact any of the spirits here. And we'll also just mention before I jump into it. Water all around us. We're on an island right now, so... If these are supposed to find water, then they'll be doing 360s. <laughs> so <laughs> you'll know. Anyways, let's do it. If there are any spirits here with us tonight, my name's Ricky, here with my friend Brendan. Just like to ask you a few questions and maybe see if you'd like to communicate, see if you'd like to come out and talk. Will mean no harm. 
we'd just like to know your story, know perhaps why you still linger here, so if there's any spirits here, be able to cross the rods over in front of me. I can feel you pushing on them. If there are any spirits here, be able to cross the rods over in front of me. You can see they're getting pushed as well. Don't be shy. Don't be scared. Again, don't be shy, we mean no harm. Just like to know your story. Thank you to the spirit who just crossed the rods. If the spirit we're communicating to, if you are a female spirit, are you able to point both rods to my left hand side? To the female spirit we're communicating to we don't want you to be nervous or shy or anything around us we just want to talk to you as if we're your friends as if you're talking to your friends or family don't be scared of us to the spirit that we're communicating to are are you aged 15 if you're age 15 are you able to cross the rods in front of me Jesus. Thank you very much. I don't want to ask the question. I know it's a horrible thing, but there is a legend here, a story of a girl who was 15 years old that was murdered, kidnapped and raped. Is that you? If so, can you move both rods to my right hand side? Again, as we mentioned, it's beyond sad what happened. Obviously, we wouldn't want to wish that upon anyone, especially on a girl so young, someone who has so much life ahead of them. Curious, are you with us here right now on this island? If you are, can you make just the left rod go all the way to my left hand side? If you are with us right here on this island. They are so active, man. Yeah, it, and it's, it's good because it's like it's after, just after you said, you know, where. Uh, yeah. To the girl that we're communicating with, do you still linger here because of the event that happened to you that sad night? Is that the reason why you still linger here? If so, can you cross these rods for me? Is that why you can't pass? Is that why you can't move on? We know it's taking a lot of courage for you to come out and talk to us. We, we know that it was two males that committed that crime on you and just want to let you know we're nothing like those two males. We're nothing like those two men. Again, you can feel safe with us. We're not here to judge or we're not here to cause any harm. Have you tried to pass on? If you've tried to pass on, but you're still stuck here because of that event, are you able to move both rods to my left? Is it because perhaps the two males who committed that crime, did they never meet their justice? Is that why you feel like you can't move on? If so, can you make both rods go to my right?
too. They are really active. Yeah. So the, they got away with it. Is, is this where it happened right here on this so island? I'm going to find out. Curious is the location where we are right now, is this where the crime took place? If it is, can you widen both rods all the way back out to my body? I am getting chills, man. I'm, I feel... Dude, I, I don't know what it is, but like, man, I feel so sad for her, man. Yeah. Genuinely, like, I feel so sad for her, man. I just picture, like, imagine if it was your sister, or if it was... I can't even think about it, man. Like, I feel so... I feel sick, man. What adds more insult to injury is that these guys never got justice. They never met their team. they never met their maker. Yeah. That sense of sadness, you know? Yeah. Because it's, it's really like it kind of moves you, you know what I mean? Yeah. I can like I said, I can just I don't want to picture it, but you can just picture that happening to like a loved one or a family member or something and I don't know how I don't know how you'd react with it. It's just yeah. It's so sad. To the girl we're communicating with are there other spirits here as well there are a lot of stories here that this place is believed to be rather active are you the only spirit or are there multiple here if there's multiple be able to move both rods to my far left hand side what i mean here i mean in this general area pucky's reserve Multiple. Yeah, in the whole reserve area. Just want to say again, thank you for being so talkative to us. It's again, it must be hard for you to do this, but thank you very much for coming out and chatting. I'll ask you a few more questions. Look how she like recenters them. Yeah. Wow. Well, she probably hasn't spoken to someone in a long time. Are we the first person that's spoken to you in a long time? If it is, are you able to make both rods go to my right hand side? Man, that's sad. I feel so bad for her, man. It's very sad to hear. I'm curious, is there anything we should be worried of tonight? Anything that's here that is harmful? Any spirits who are malicious or that mean to harm anyone? Or are the spirits that are here simply just stuck here because of events that have taken place? If there are any harmful spirits here, are you able to cross the rods in front of me? If all the spirits are rather peaceful, are you able to move the rods to my left? There was a gentleman who this reserve was named after. His name was Mr. Pucky. Courtney Pucky. His name was Courtney Pucky. He was a quite odd man, rather peculiar. He was blamed for a lot of the disappearances and strange happenings in this area. Is he the male that you speak of? Is he the spirit that you speak of that's harmful? If so, can you widen both rods all the way back to my body? As well, but after she answered that there is something harmful, I here, feel I've weird, been hearing man. so many more, like so many noises as well. Is it me or is there like a mist here kind of thing? Yeah. I'm going to ask you a couple more questions. Where is Courtney Pucky? Is he here with us tonight? Are you able to point both rods to his location? I was going to say if it's to the right man, it's up near where his place was. Well, yeah, in this general location, the, the right would be where he is, yeah, uh, where, where it is. 
Oh my god, dude. And that's, that's literally where... Like that direction. Courtney that Pocky's way. residence is right over here through the woods. Yeah. <sighs> Couple more questions for her. Yeah. Is the reason that you perhaps stay over this side is it because you don't like Mr. Courtney Pucky? Is that why you keep your distance? Why you reside over here? If so, are you able to move the rods to my left hand side? It's because you're scared of him. Dude. That's, that girl gives me chills, man. Well, not just that, so, you have a really horrible thing happen to you. You're then murdered, but you would rather stay and linger in the spot that it happened. Rather than hang out with this guy. Be, uh, yeah. That's, like, that. You know what I want to try real quick? Yeah. She's super active. I want to give a try to Paralys and see if we can get a name. All right. All right, let's do that. Guys, we'll like, I don't know. I don't usually feel like this with sessions like this, but something about this just honestly hits hits the feels like it, it's sad yeah seriously is it's really sad to the spirit we're communicating with we're going to give a go to a different device now we just thank you for communicating with us with the rods we're not going anywhere yet we just want to communicate with a different device a device that you might be able to answer questions a little bit more in depth so if you'd like to just stay with us there won't be a moment all right Let's set it up. Look, real quick, look at the arrow on it. The arrow on this app is supposed to tell you where, like, things are. It's kind yeah. of going nuts. Also, it just got really windy yeah. all of a sudden. Like, there was like no wind a moment ago. Now it's like really you know what windy. What kind of reminds me? What the? Is that? Did you hear that? Yeah. That sounded like something like ran past us. You know what it sounded like that, yeah. like something moving. You know what vibe I'm getting from here? Alright. Alrighty guys, so we're going to give a go to an app called Paralys now. This app kind of works as, I guess you'd say, like a spirit box. Should be able to give us a little bit more click. What the f*** is that? Legit f*** is that? That was like a girl, man. Did you hear that? Yeah. That sounded like something crying. It's not focusing as well. It doesn't want to focus. Yeah, the camera's focus is whacked now. Again, the purpose of this app, it kind of works as I guess a spirit box. It should be able to generate us words. If a spirit communicates with us, it'll be able to tell us what they're saying on there. Again, this will be able to give us a bit more in-depth answers than what the dowsing rods will. So again, to the girl that we were just communicating with. To the girl that we were just communicating with, are you still here with us? If so, you can speak into this device. You can let us know you're here with this device. Speak into it. Yes. <laughs> Again, feel free to communicate through this device. Give us as clear answers as you can. Are you able to tell us your name? Again, don't feel shy. We'd just like to know you a bit better. Again, my name's Ricky. This is Brendan. You have nothing to fear from us. Waves. What? Waves. Waves. Well, she was the body was... She was thrown in the ocean. Yeah. Might sound like a silly question, but is waves your name? Or are you referring to the waves of the ocean? The legend has it that your body was thrown into the ocean here. Is that what you're referring to? I keep hearing the noise though. Adult. 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 Maybe saying the two men were adults? That's what I'm thinking. So was it two adults? They're two adult men that threw you into the waves of the ocean? Is that what you're trying to say to us? 
taste. Maybe she's referring to the taste of the ocean. Yeah, maybe like a salty. Kind of maybe. You able to give us any other clear signs? Better. 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 Maybe she says like that's better. Like that's better. Like now you're onto it. Yeah. So you are. You're trying to tell us on what happened to you that night. Am intent. I intent? Yeah, they had a bad intent probably. That's right. So I'm assuming that you mean that the two men had a bad intent. The two adult men. You could taste the ocean waves as they threw you in. Is that what you're referring to? You able to give me a clear yes or no? To the girl that we're communicating with, we we would like to go communicate with Courtney Pucky tonight. You mentioned he was quite an evil man. You also told us where he is. You also showed us his direction, where he is. We don't want to leave. Name. You just mentioned name. Do you want to give us your name? If not, where we might head off. Try to communicate to any other spirits here. See if we can find Courtney Pucky. If you'd like to give us your name and you'd like to continue talking, feel free to do so. Otherwise, we'll leave you be. Say we leave her be. Yeah, try and see if we have a pass there. Huh? Try wish. and see. Wish. Maybe she. Maybe her wish is to help us help her pass. Before we go, something that we'd like to do, if we can help in any way to help you pass, is. Is there something we can do? Is there any? Six. Six. I don't know. If there's anything that we can do to help you pass, are you able to give us an answer? Tell us in any way how we can help you maybe leave this place? Or again, is this an internal battle? Is this something that you need to do yourself? man that was f is that you is that you making those noises you can reveal yourself to us don't be shy if that was you Stopped. I don't know, man. I'm getting the shakes here. Dude, man. it's creepy here. She's very talkative, I'll say that much. Yeah. I reckon what we do is we pack it up here because, I mean, we're in Pucky's reserve. Yeah. This area is named after Courtney Pucky himself. I want to know why she's scared of him. And maybe, you know what? Maybe when she said wish, maybe she wishes us to go confront Courtney Pucky. Maybe because she's scared of Courtney Pucky and she's in well, his you did reserve. Ask, you did ask, is there something that we can do? Maybe that's what she wants. She's wishing that we would go and confront him. Maybe exactly. that's why she can't. That's what I think. Again, this is his domain. This is his area. Yeah. He ruled this area. He ran this space. Maybe that's what she wants. Maybe the reason, maybe the only way she can pass here yeah. is if we communicate with him because it was known that he was believed to be the reason behind some of the disappearances and some of the weird things that happened here. Or speculated at the very least, yeah. We head over to exactly where she told us Courtney Pucky was. Yeah. And I reckon we try to find out why, why she's scared of him. All right. Yeah. All right, cool. Alrighty Let's guys, go. if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to do all the good stuff, like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna head over. We're gonna find out what Courtney Pucky is doing in this area, yep. why spirits are scared of him. And until then guys, we hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah. Let's do it.